Hey, ready fish. Still the 23rd of February, 2018. And you probably wouldn't have heard from me again today if they didn't have to post this article today. Right? Of all days, good old Washington Post. This guy hunted bin Laden. Then he died in 9-11. Now the FBI legend is the center for a TV show. This guy here, going to be a new show on Hulu. Rot your brain. Okay? About the FBI. What was I just talking about earlier? The uh, 1993 bombings at the World Trade Center in 1993. This guy was on the trail, supposedly, of Osama bin Laden. And it's my belief they go through this whole lie about 9-11 and glorify this man, which maybe he should be, I don't know. But... I believe he probably knew things that they didn't any longer want him to know. So they stationed him at the World Trade Center just before 9-11. And of course, he died, right? So this whole thing, right? But what it did, once again, is it made me think of the 1993 bombing at the World Trade Center. And it made me think of Osama bin Laden. This guy was chasing him. Well, guess what? On this very day, February 23rd, in 1998, Osama bin Laden published his fatwa, declaring jihad on all Jews and crusaders. February 23rd, 1998, 20 years ago, today. Okay, so, and this guy was chasing him, but he winds up dying in the event that this guy supposedly pulled off. And if you believe that, I since I actually do have a bridge I want to sell you, okay? I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at right next to it. 31 deaths here, 31 deaths here. Just saying, okay? And the reason that this even is in front of you, the only reason I did this is because I went back to the 93 Trade Center bombing, and I just checked between that date, February 26th, coming up in a couple of days, and the real uh, 9-11-2001, okay? In between those two dates, February 26, 93, 9-11-2001, 3,119 days, okay? Now, I don't believe in coincidences, I'm just showing you this to show you that there is a pattern to how that satanic spirit works in this world and when you are in christ jesus when you are walking in the holy spirit these things the understanding of these things are revealed to you and what i'm seeing these past couple days i mean i just can't help it this next today tomorrow the next day whatever it's just a very, very spiritually empowered time, let's say. There's a lot of spiritual activity going on right now. And these dark spirits are working feverishly over time. There's no coincidence that that happened, you know, on the same exact day that Bud Laden. And, and February 23rd, I mean, just, just incidentally also is a day that so many things happened. But I wanted to point out just a couple. Bush, it was 24 hours. As, as of tomorrow, he was invading Kuwait. Okay? Happened on this day. Uh, in 1970, you got to see this. I just have to show this to you because I think they might be fixing to use this. The 25th... Um, Amendment. Look here. 13th Winter Olympics closed at Lake Placid, 1980. Where the heck is that? It's here, you guys. I have to show it to you because I think it's it's pertinent to uh, to the current times, if you know what I mean. It's right around here. This is crazy. Look at Boston Bruins begin 13-game winning streak. And all I'm doing right here, 1967. 25th Amendment addressing the secession of a president just in case 
he's removed from office. That was put into law 51 years ago today. I don't know why that stuck in my spirit to tell you that, but there it is. A ton of things happened on this day, you guys. I, I really... Christian persecution, the worst Christian persecution in history began on this day with this uh, Dioxalientan, forgive me for butchering his name, Diocletian, uh, worst Christian persecution ever between 303 and 311. <laughs> 33 and 11, seven years, and the guy dies on December 3rd, 311. That's just craziness, you know what I mean? And that first thing on the history of this day, Gutenberg, the first printed Bible today. Man, you could squeeze all of history onto this one day, the amazing things that happened just on this day alone. But anyway, I've gotten off track. I just wanted to show you that. Between the two 9-11s, or I shouldn't, this wasn't a 9-11, this was just the bombing, okay, that this guy was involved in chasing bin Laden. This is just no accident. Why would this article come out today? Why? 3,119 days. It's crazy. There's your 311 and your 9-11, both in the same number. So, I'm going to upload this video, right, and... You know, I'm doing other things, and I come back in here, and I get on. I just look at the headlines real quick. That's all I do. And already we have another article comes up inside Google's $131 million Boulder campus. And again, I'll link all this stuff. 131 right? And Afghanistan's building a pipeline. It's a peace pipeline. It's 1,127 miles long, which is also 9-11. And these things just popped up since I just walked away for a little while. And check this out here. This also popped up one hour ago. A foot discovered on a Canadian island. 13th to wash ashore since 2007. What is up with that? 13 feet in 11 years have washed up on this beach. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> this, this is just off the hook. 103 migrants found abandoned in a freight trailer near the U.S. border. Three hours ago, all I did was go and run some errands. I come back and I got this much more. Plus, I'm sure everybody knows about this. Man, you can't make this stuff up, people. You just cannot. <laughs> Something's going on. You need to just be secure and know that you are saved by the blood of Christ and everything's good. You know what I'm saying? You just, you have to understand that this world is closing in. And it's only a matter of time, I mean, seriously, till it just is released. I mean, this stuff is going to pour out and cover the earth, and you need to be covered in the blood of Jesus Christ. So, look into it. Ask him to show you the truth. Okay? So, just thought I'd share that. Peace and grace to y'all. Any fish? Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 